What's good, Crown family? And welcome to another episode of Table Talk. And today's topic is going to be on should artists still sign record deals? In my opinion, uh, let me go ahead and say it's, it kind of depends on the artist and what they really want out of being an artist. Some artists just want to be an artist and not really have to deal with anything, so they give you know, all their rights away to the record label and let them do everything. And, you know, they just record and make music and perform, which is cool if that's what you want out of this. But the newer artists, the newer artists that are coming up are seem to get into a lot smarter. There's so much information out there on whether you want to learn the music business, on different topics of the music business, how to go about things. And the way social media is, it's just like, no way you don't need a record deal like come on man listen with social media nowadays you have the rights to be able to own your own music you know promote yourself you don't need that huge but huge budget no more like you used to back in the day you used to back in the day you has to you know print up flyers you know put flyers all around the city uh travel from uh city to city state to state promoting yourself you had to do uh real groundwork i mean not saying that you don't have to do that nowadays you still have to do that i still feel but it's a lot easier now because if you want to with no money at all you can start your own little um movement uh, and i I'm not even going to say little movement. You can start a huge movement. Like, you can literally go viral overnight. Like, if I wanted to upload a song right now, I could just go to SoundCloud, put my song up, and it could go viral by tomorrow. That's just how simple it is. You can upload a video to YouTube, this platform, and by tomorrow, it'll have a million views. You never know how things work out. Um, I, the algorithm is this mysterious thing. So, like, you, you don't know if what you're going to put out is going to go viral. Not saying that everything that you're going to put out is going to go viral. You know, like, some people still can get no views. It's still, you have to put in the groundwork. And you have to put in a lot of work to get what you want. But I do feel with social media, it makes it a lot easier. Well, a lot cheaper. You don't have to have that huge budget no more. Um, but back in the day, you know, the only way you could get out there if you signed a record deal. Why? Because, you know, they had to connect to the radios. You want your song on the radio. Nowadays, you don't really need your song on the radio. I'm not saying that it isn't dope and everybody doesn't want their song on the radio. I still want my song on the radio. But... Most people don't really listen to radio no more. What do we listen to? Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, our music that we downloaded on our phones, our iPads, or whatever. Nobody really listens to the, the radio no more. So you really don't need that anymore, you know, with streaming age. Um, back in the day, the record label had to uh, fund your, your tour, like... Um, nowadays you can crowdfund, you know, there's websites where you can get your, uh, your fan base to help you out and do such things, man. There's many artists doing this right now without a record label. So right now in this day and age, no, and especially with YouTube. And I really think YouTube is one of the best place for our artists to start. You can go get a cheap camera like I have. I have a, a Logitech, what I'm recording on right now. Um... And you can start a YouTube channel, build up a fan base. Shoot, you can record a music video on this. I pay like, what, $50 for this Logitech camera. Get a, a, a nice little mic. This is about $50, man. It's a snowball mic. Go cop these two and you can get started. You can literally record a song with this. That's literally how easy it is. Back in the day, the only way you could record a song if you had a budget to get in the studio and we talking hundreds of dollars an hour to record a song so if you had a record you couldn't be just half assing it you really had to have an idea that you know that was gonna work you had to make sure everything was right about it because you had to pay the, the the for studio time for someone to mix it master it and you had to make sure you pay for the beat. Like, it was so much that went into things back in the day versus now. Like, you don't have to go to these big old studios to record a song. Nowadays, if I wanted to record a song right now, I can record it, upload it on SoundCloud, and it can go viral tomorrow, and the world can know about it. But 
you know that that's not saying that it's, it's always going to be that easy like i said you still have to put in that groundwork you still have to get out there and talk to the people you still have to do those such things but it doesn't cost as much man like i said with youtube it definitely opens up a lot of doors for independent artists to be stay independent you don't have to even sign a deal you can have a whole record uh company built off of just this platform you can have a whole fan base built off of this platform and and it's crazy because you know back in the day i remember i used to pass that cities by the cities you know it, it it was it was difficult man and i remember as a younger artist trying to get out there man like i, I had to do the shows you know I was opening up for these big artists, man. People was looking like, who is this guy? Because they really know who the newer acts are. You would have to pay to even get up on the lineup to open up for these bigger artists. Luckily, I knew a couple of people who, you know, promoters who, uh, you know, threw a lot of shows. So I was able to get in that way. But a lot of the, the younger artists had to pay, you know, to perform. And, and, and it's not easy. It's not cheap. You know, we all worked a nine to five or working a nine to five. But nowadays, like I said, it's a lot easier. Um, but it's a great timing right now, especially because social media is just becoming like record labels don't even know what uh, to do with streaming just of, just of right now, because it's just like. So many artists are recognizing they don't need these big companies. What do you need that record label for? Tell me, what do you need it for? A record label back in the day would be the people that would promote your music out to the world. And now it's just like with the tip of my finger, I can have my phone and just, you know, well, it's not my phone. My phone is right there, you know, and I can upload a song. Now, you know, back in the day, you know, you had to go through the record company, but now you have the ability to do that on your own. So right now, I feel like it's the best time for new independent artists. And and, and what's so great about this, you it's like back in the day, the talent, you know, sometimes like didn't have that money. I didn't have that that connect to get out there. But now I feel like with the the with all of these different platforms you have the ability and we're seeing so many dope artists that we probably wouldn't be able to see back then actually you know get a buzz and that's really dope man and like i said man like the record label is not needed no more it's like they don't really have anything they can help us like what do i need to a record label for when i could do everything by myself not saying you don't still need a team you still need a good team in actuality, I'm still trying to work on my team. I'm trying to build my team, you know, probably uh, get some management, you know, some different folks to come in and help me out, you know, and kind of craft everything that I got going on and make it a lot easier on me. But um, that's all the work the, the record label used to do. And actually, they used to literally take so much money. Like when these late, when these younger artists sign these deals when you see them signing hundred thousand dollar deal million dollar deal two million dollars three million dollars people look at that and they be like oh snap such and such got signed for such and such such and such got signed for such and such and they show you this big old check and you just like oh snap you know i'm gonna get my family out the hood you know we, we, we about to take it to the top but what they don't know is the label is giving you this money First of all, they know you're worth double whatever they pay you. I triple, probably more than that, because they they make hella bank off of us. And on top of that, the money they give you is just a loan. Know that every single penny that they gave you, you gotta pay them back and interest. Like, listen, they want their money back, you know. Shooting your music out to these different radio stations, the cost of the radio station playing your music, tours, you all of this you're paying for. The parties that they give you when you first sign that deal, those bottles, yeah, you pay for that. You pay for everything by yourself. They want all of that back plus more. And trust me, they gonna get their money. <laughs> Listen, you feel like you can probably just like just get out of a deal, but you see so many different artists. You seen Lil Uzi Vert, you know, so many freaking artists. You hear them talking about they wish they never signed, and you know, you you, you hear all of these 
different artists and it's just like you got to know that these record labels got you know their paperwork on deck man and it's just like a lot of artists probably don't read it i don't have a good enough lawyer to do the paperwork and they end up in these bad label deals and it's just like why go through all of that when you can just do it yourself sure it may take a little bit longer but everything you you will make will be yours and you know you can split it with your team of course you know because they're helping you out but i i just don't feel like you need a record label no more man it's enough it's enough man like i said man just go talk to the djs get in contact with these uh reaction channels reaction channels are like are like the new outlet for a lot of artists trust me like get in contact with these these rec reaction channels such as me or different people you see popping and, and you know just you know try to work something out so you know you can get a reaction video made because it's just like those videos definitely help an artist out and you know just talking with djs you can literally talk to djs all around the world you know with the the, the which is simple with your phone and it's just like there's no reason for any artist to be like you know what i don't have it to to do music you have it you have it right in your hand you can start your uh everything right from your hand with a phone all you do is gotta sign up for soundcloud or you can pay one of those distribution sites like from uh cd baby distro kid uh you know it's a couple more out but those those sites actually you pay i think it's like ten dollars to twenty dollars a, a year or something like that and they will send your music out to spotify apple music title all streaming platforms and you can literally make money right then and there so like like i said man you got everything you need you got everything you need so if you really think of like i said man those huge huge um signing bonuses they give you are just freaking loans man know that if a record label offers you something you're worth either twice as more or triple more because, listen, they see the value in what we do, man. So, you got to be smart about it. But not saying, listen, don't get me wrong. There are some labels who actually care about artists. Like I've seen from TDE. I really enjoy watching what TDD, TDE does with their artists. They actually, you know, take our artists from no buzz to actually building them up. You know, helping them become a better artist. And, um... QC seems like a dope record label also, man. But you really have to watch who you're going to sign to if you're going to sign to a record label. Make sure that record label is actually helping the artists and not just signing artists. And a lot of times when they sign artists, they actually throw, you know, if you're not super buzzing, like you could have that hot song for the moment, but it, after that song goes out, you kind of, you know, dry in the water. They'll just throw you in the back and, and it's just like... You ain't on the record label, give you the green light, and it's just like, they don't want to help you out because it's just like, you ain't hot no more, and they ain't going to really let you go now unless you're trying to pay them, you know, what you owe because you signed that record label, you know, that record deal for such and such amount. Now, they ain't trying to let you go until they get their money back because they the real gangsters in the world, trust me. <laughs> like, they the real savages. <laughs> they are out here, you know, taken from us so just be smart about it if you are looking to sign a record uh record deal but in my opinion i feel like as of now with the timing of social media there's no way you should really really want to sign a record deal and if you do make sure you build up your buzz and build up your fan base enough where it's just like you have something to negotiate so it's just not like you walking into the record label with uh no buzz but you know you sign this work and it's just like it, you couldn't really negotiate with them because it's just like you don't really have nothing to really offer them besides talent now if you go in there you already got uh half a million subscribers half a million a uh, hundred thousand instagram followers because you know record label is definitely looking at that just know they always when you go in there they be like what your YouTube numbers looking like? What your Instagram numbers looking like? They want to know what your social media is doing because they know that social media is popping right now, and you definitely need that to make noise. But if you already got that going, it's like you can kind of negotiate, I guess, in a way. Um, but 
like I say, I don't, I don't understand. If you already have a million subscribers, you already got a million Instagram followers. Tell me, what in the world would you need a record deal for? Why? Why? If you got, okay, out of a million, million followers, a million subscribers, if you got, let's say, 10% of them loyal, imagine those 10,000 loyal fans buying your merchandise, buying your new album when it comes out. You can literally live good. When you go on tour, they're going to your shows. Like, Bro, do you not understand? And then you get all of that money to yourself. You own everything. You own the rights to your music. You you own the masters. You you getting paid all of that money. You don't have to wait till the record label pay you every month or so. All of that money is coming to you. You know all of your numbers. You know everything. That's all you. That's why I say, man. All in all, I would say do not sign a record deal, but. You know, if you're one of those artists that just has to sign a record deal just to feel, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, because back in the day, before I really knew about all this stuff, I wanted to sign a record deal just like anybody else. And I don't know. Like, it, it's like nowadays I see more and more artists coming out with saying, wish I, I wish I never signed. And it's just like, why would I go? If I see all these people making that mistake, why would I go make that same mistake? Why not just build up something I have on my own? You know, and just kind of work off of that. Because it's just like, you can, like I said, man, you can literally build your own loyal fan base off of these platforms. And it's just like, they will support whatever you're doing. It's just like, you, it, it, it's, it really makes no sense to take that to a label and let them literally take everything you got and have you out here you know miserable because you can't put out music when you want you can't go into it when you want you know and it's just like you gotta wait till they give you to say so and it's just like when you have that power on your own you could just upload a video right now or uh, drop a new song every day if you wanted to why give up that just to sign to a record label just you gotta be smart about this man but like i said in my opinion man i, I say i would say I'm not really looking looking into signing a record deal. Now unless they just come in with some crazy deal or something like that where it just makes sense. Then maybe, you know, I consider it. But as far as um, newer artists, man, I really don't understand, like, why anyone should sign a record deal. But that's just my opinion, man. Y'all can let me know your opinions in the comments, man. It was just another table talk. You know, I've been having this on my mind. Like, this is what we're going to be doing with table talk, man. I'm just going to be dropping, you know, my different thoughts on different situations, uh, what's going on, uh, what's popping, man. But I appreciate y'all watching Crown Family, man. Hope you have a good day. Smash the subscribe, man. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. Also, go check out my new single, Squats. It's now um, on YouTube. It will soon be on Spotify. Um, title, you know, Alpha Music and a lot of other streaming sites. Uh, Crown Family, man, thank you so much for all the support, man. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep pushing. And we're going to build this family together. And we're going to take over the world. But um, let me know what you think, man. Uh, like I said, do you think it's, it's, it benefits for artists, newer artists to sign a record deal? Like, should they sign a record deal in this day and age with social media? Or, you know, should they stay independent and, you know, just grow their own and have full ownership? Let me know in the comments. Appreciate y'all supporting me. Y'all salute, Crown Family. Whoop!